Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett of Texas. He sits on the House Ways and Means Committee, which released the returns. Congressman, you made the first motion to acquire the former president's taxes nearly five years ago. Does it surprise you that it took this long? Oh, it's really outrageous. He had so many accomplices in the Congress, House Republicans who refused to permit us to take a look at these returns, even in private, uh, years ago. Uh, you know, uh, many years ago, there was another New York City hotel mogul who declared taxes are for the little people. And I think that's kind of the Trump uh, uh, idea. He thinks it makes, it, it makes him smart that he pays less of his income, a lower rate on his income than the waiter or the maid or the maintenance person who works in one of his hotels. And I think that's just outrageous. Uh, when he got to be president, he puts a couple of his buddies in charge of the Treasury Department and the Internal Revenue Service, and they don't do the audit that was done on other presidents uh, until they get a letter from the Ways and Means Committee. They wait a couple of years to do that. Uh, so we know that the Trump Internal Revenue Service didn't do its job, and there's good reason to believe that Donald Trump owes far more taxes than he's paid but we don't have the details because we don't have the audits that should have occurred. Yeah, what do you make of that, that, that the audits, that sh the audits, as you say, that should have occurred didn't occur? It's difficult to determine because the all we have are the electronic records. There was no conversation permitted with anyone at the Internal Revenue Service involved in the actual audit. But there are some indications that this was irregular. Only one auditor for 500 entities, an auditor who said that uh, there was not enough in the way of resources, an auditor who said, well, if they've got an accounting firm doing this, we don't really need to see substantiation for all the claims of losses and deductions and credits that Trump claims. Uh, one thing after another, uh, it could indicate that there was direct interference. It might indicate that there was only indifference. Your committee held a vote on the release of these returns. Was there any dissent among Democrats, any arguments against these returns being made public? Well, we had a lively discussion about this. I think that there's certainly a sensitivity on the part of Democrats to protecting taxpayer privacy. But we recognize that all we were trying to do with Trump is what other presidents had done uh, and that he had resisted. Uh, and that the president is in a truly unique situation. So when uh, the votes came after we discussed it thoroughly, uh, every Democrat voted uh, in support of Chairman Neal's report and uh, to release this information to the public so that everyone could see this isn't just a, a partisan initiative. You can see for yourselves uh, the fact that this president signed the tax return, you'll see his signature, where year after year he paid nothing or paid $750 and where he claimed huge losses in the past. We don't have the details on those losses. Uh, the New York Times did great work on this years ago and they suggest it may be a, a, a part of uh, his losing his uh, Atlantic City casinos. But whatever they are, they were used to wipe out uh, profits that he had and to justify paying little or no taxes. It's also difficult to tell how much foreign entanglement there is. We do know that he, he paid uh, some years more taxes to foreign governments than he did here in the United States. Uh, mm -hmm. But because we only looked at eight of the 500 entities, we don't know what other influences may have occurred from uh, overseas on Trump's operations. Right, and, and that's a big reason why um, there's, there are calls for transparencies for people running for president to release their tax returns so that you can see if there is any conflict of interest, if their policy could be influenced by, by anything that could be picked up on the tax returns. Congressman Doggett, thank you so much for coming on the thank show. You.